retina is a third layer of the eye and is continued throughout the salary body towards the upper part of the iris. <coughs> this retina consists on the pigmented cells. Pigmented cell. Same here. pigmented cell these pigmented cell receive the lights toward themselves every type of the light these pigmented cell receive themselves mostly black light this layer is called retina So the fourth layer is neural layer present above the retina. Neural layer is come through the neuron of the brain. This is the neural layer come through the neuron of the brain and enter into the eye become neural layer. Same here. This is optic nerve. We name this optic nerve. In eye, nerve name is optic. Okay. Optic nerve enter into the eye and become neural layer. This neural layer is very important because this neural layer consist high concentrations of the rod and cone cells rod and cone cells is high concentration at this part of the eye we name this at this part of the eye high concentrations of the rod and cone cells we name this part is called yellow spot yellow spot of eye and the light is refract this yellow spot and yellow spot consists of high concentration rod and cone cells and these rod and cone cells is a photosensitive cells and these cells send the message to the neural layers and neural layers change these light into the electric impulse electric impulse travel into the brain through the optic nerve and brain become image and become photo So light also refract through the lens to the yellow spot and yellow spot is a part of eye where high concentration rod and cone cells is present. Here is nothing present, only vessels is coming through this arteries and veins coming arteries coming into and veins coming out through the eyes so this is arteries and vein part so this part of eye is called blind spot blind spot nothing special is present at this part <laughs> Students, one thing is I have missed here in retina. 
रेटिना लेयर इज अ बल्जिंग टाइप स्ट्रक्चर इज प्रेजेंट दिस बल्जिंग टाइप वी नेम दिस फोवा दिस फोवा स्टोर दिस लाइट for some time this is called fova is present on the retina so students next is our internal sides of the eye this is the internal side of the eye is consist on the vetrous humor vetrous body we name this vetrous body vetrous body vetrous body is a jelly like material that uh, prevent the eye from drainess present at the internal portion of the eye is a vetrous is a jelly like fluid so this fluid is also transparent light can also pass through this vetrous body and streak this yellow spot yellow spot of the neural layer students here is another fluid is present here that is originate from the salivary body salivary body of the choroid layer secrete the fluid into the behind the lens we name this aqueous humor aqueous humor humor mean water this aqueous humor is a plasma is a plasma this aqueous humor is secreted from the salivary body in a normal uh, situation and this aqueous humor is reabsorbed from the here is a junction here is a junction between the sclera and the cornea is a junction same here sclera and the cornea between is a junction is present we name this scleral sinus venous sinus venous this sclerous sinus venous absorb this aqueous humor salivary body secrete aqueous humor in normal situation is secrete all time and scleral sinus venous absorb this aqueous humor all time in normal situation but when this aqueous humor is become too much and become out of the normal condition so it become dangerous for the eye and it become the reasons of the eye blindness 
and eye blindness disease cause if this aqueous femur is secrete out of the normal condition so students aqueous femur secreted from the salivary body and the muscles and sclerous venous seva uh, sclerous sinus venous uh, the junction between the cornea and the sclera absorb this aqueous femur this is the job of the salivary body and this is the job of the sclera sinus venus so so good job students our lens is elastic in our eye lens is elastic it can contract and it can become shorten and become bigger due to the mu muscles is present in the salivary body muscles is present in the salivary body is contract and relax when we see things when we see things close to us when we see close things our salivary muscles is contract like here this is our i this is a salivary muscle this is our lens and this is a pupil ye yeah, this is salivary muscle muscle that present inside the salivary body the so salivary muscles so when the salivary muscles is contract contract they contract when we see close object near to the eyes the salivary muscles contract and the lens lens become thicker lens become thicker and become short and pupil is also become short and object and uh, and the uh, uh, refraction when light is refract it when light is pass through this lens to refract we we can see close close things due to our lens become thicker due to our lens thickness we can see close object and lens when thick when salivary muscles contract and also people also become short and another situation when see far away things far away distinctive things then the salivary body muscles is relax is relax is relax here is a become a thicker area diameter become wide here diameter become short here i b i ball become i diameter become so here diameter become short and lens is wide and pupil is also wide when we 
see a distinctive things because light when pass through the lens not reflect and so we can see longer distance object salivary muscles become relax and our lens become in thinner here lens become wider here lens become wider when we see close object here lens become thinner when we see distinct object and lens become thinner when salivary muscles is relax when salivary muscles relax lens become thinner and object made at a longer distance <clears throat> and pupil is also become wide so this is the two condition of the eye two condition of the eye contractions of the muscles and relaxation of the muscles the two result come out contraction of the muscles lens become thicker and we can see close object Con uh, relaxations of the salivary muscles lens become thinner and we can our eye become dilate and we can see longer and distant object far away object our lens become thinner and people become wide due to the contractions of the salivary muscles so very important muscles present inside in human eye so when contractions of the so our lens is elastic if our lens elasticity become fail lens become fail to elastic so this is most dangerous condition <clears throat> <clears throat> so silent silent uh, silent uh, some, some time of the disease is cause <clears throat> i have um, forget so when lens forget or lens fail their elasticity so blindness is cause blinded disease is cause i have forget this disease in description i have written so hope you understand this lecture clearly okay bye allah hafiz take care be happy do hard work Love is.